everybody, it's Tamika. I'm back with another swap for the month of December. This video is going to be super quick in regards to the details of the swap. So you will find everything in written form on my website. So please head over there to get everything all listed out. The directions, shipping time, what you need to do, all the requirements will be there. Because this is going to be a quick video because I'm going to do a tutorial at the end for what we're doing the swap for. So um, quick three rules, you must live in the United States, you must have crafty videos already uploaded on your channel, and you must not have flaked in the last three swaps with me. And I do have a list, so please just don't. And if you are in the uh, Christmas tag shaped swap and you're having a little trouble getting the swap here, I would advise you not to sign up for this one because this one is a... This one is one you need to start and concentrate on, I guess. So um, I don't want to get you overloaded or burnt out, okay? So to get started with this, this is the mini loaded envelope because that is the craze right now. And I um, have made just two, but I thought these little mini, mini ones was super cute. And for our veterans, I think you guys will be able to rock this out in all of your fabulousness. So um, quick rules or quick details is you must create and send um, three mini loaded envelopes. Um, so the things included in the envelope has to be a decorated um, four by six envelope. Now you, you can, um, I think the business letter, if you fold it up a certain way, your mailing letter, it can be the same size. This is four by six. So if you take the envelope and flip it up, it will get the same results, but then you have to layer it with a whole bunch of paper. So why not start out with heavy cardstock in the first place? So I'm going to show you how to make one of these quick and easy ones with the little, um, you know, so it could be dimensional. You could put all your little tags in there. It's going to be super fast and easy. You guys are going to love it. So, um, Anyway, I use the Prima Tales of You and Me paper, and this is how my envelope is decorated. So you must decorate your envelope. I even added a little pocket in the back for goodies and information in there. Inside your envelope, or in it somewhere, on your pockets or wherever, you must include two teeny tiny embellishments. Super cute. I've included, um, I have these stuck on here so they can have the full effect of a loaded envelope otherwise they'd be super tiny so I just have them up so they can explode so I just altered one of those Michaels frames with some really cute um, embellishments flowers really cute the papers behind there and then I have a um, a circle it's a circle piece that love piece from the Michaels bin and I put a word bead on it and then I added some flowers and a collage really cute tiny embellishment so those are my two small embellishments. You must include a wand of some sort. I don't care what kind of wand, rosette you put on here, but it must have a wand. This one is a paper rosette that I made with a heart embellishment, which you could take apart and use it if you want to. It's on a gold straw. has a little backing back there. Super cute. Two embellishments and a wand. You must include an envelope with a note card. So this is my envelope. I made the envelope. Have a little hello sticker on there this is the back and then i had added a little piece of tape to close it and this is my note card backed up with craft card stock so the recipient can write and then i just tuck that back in here everything is just nicely decorated and just really really cute and i love this idea and then uh, finally you must include two decorative tags now whether you stamp ink mist or something just not two plain cardstock tags okay so what I did was I added some tags and then there's these little tiny tags that I attached they actually came from a swap I think they're from Elizabeth M's design 40 but I'm not sure I added some festive um, stuff at the top I have a little ticket here a stamp and then the back they can write on so it's usable that's the whole purpose you want the recipient to be able to use it but you want it to look cute when you're in the presentation and then another one here I'd use another one of her little tags and then more eyelets whole reinforcer and stuff at the top empty on the blank on the back all right so just to sum it up quickly four by six envelope and of course I've, I've altered this and made it look you know cute um, four by six envelope you can add a pocket that's your choice um, so the envelope the note card and envelope a wand two tiny tags two tiny embellishments teeny tiny embellishments meaning they're two inches or below 
and then two decorated tags. All right. So that's the swap. Please head over to the website to get more details on shipping and all those good stuff. So I am going to quickly. Sorry, guys. I know that I'm rushing, but I don't want this to be long. Plus, I got to get to work. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly do the tutorial for the super cute um, envelope. And even if you don't swap, this is still a good envelope to use for your mini uh, pocket letter. Oh, I mean pocket letters. Mini loaded envelopes. So you will need a piece of paper cut at nine and a half by seven. Just using craft card stock. It's pretty sturdy. And then you'll need a piece cut at four by five and a half. Okay. And then you want to grab got my elbow all up in the screen. You want to grab your scoreboard. So, at the 7 inch side, you want to score at half an inch, or on the 7 inch side, 1 inch and 1 and a half inch. Flip it and do the same thing to the other side. Half an inch, 1 inch, 1 and a half inch. Score horizontal on the 9 and a half inch side and score at 6 and 9. All right, so what you want to do is take your scissors. So you have the taller side, longer side on this side. On this side, you want to, there's a score mark here, cut up to the three. There's three lines, one, two, three. Cut up to that line and just kind of angle this a little bit. Put out the little triangle, flip it to the other side and do the same thing. So at, on the score mark, cut up to the cross score mark and cut a little triangle in there, like so. And then for these bottom flaps, cut all three of these tiny squares on the end out. That, see that? And then this one over here. These tiny three squares on the outside, cut up to that score mark and cut them out. All right. So this is my bad side. Well, you know the, the side that you want you don't want to show. So you flip it. So this is the good side. On the bad side, you flip flip it in and follow the hills and valley. So the first mark closest to the end, flip down, then go forward, and then go back. And then do the same thing. Go down, forward, and back. And flip it to the other side and do the exact. So follow the accordion folds. So it's in, out, in. So they'll be like that. Okay, so you want to use double sided tape, or some sturdy tape. I'm going to use ATG tape because it's quick. And at this bottom little piece, the scored little piece, put some tape on it and flip it in. Ah. Flip it in straight okay and then for these two take your adhesive and put it on the out the last one that's facing up so if you were to I was laying flat like that fold them in like that see laying flat like that fold it in and put the tape on that side and do the same thing for the bottom And the other side. Okay. Take your four um, by five and a half inch sheet starting at the top. Now, if you're going to cut your thing on it, you can do it now. If you're going to make a, like a little slit right here and roll it over, or you can do it later. I would do it later. That way you can get this all straightened out first. All right. On this, attach it. So take your paper line it up from the top edge okay and then meet the other side just like so meet that side just follow it all the way down okay. 
and then this it's going to go there push it down and close these flaps up so we'll start on one side to match it and then on the other side now I'm going super fast but you clean this up on your own you know when you're looking at it and you're like oh this needs a little bit less bulk if it's too bulky you know cut off it cut it off before you you guys know I'm rushing through all right so this is the envelope so you have a nice pocket in here and the reason why I fold, fold that over because it's not on like rough edges I mean you can just fold it over everybody's not getting cut by that but if you want to add like a decorative edge you want to do that of course before you seal it and then that's the front and then the back pocket course you can add I think I cut the back pocket at five by four I'm not sure but you guys can measure that out all right so that should be a four by six envelope and um, that's it so head over to the website to get more information if you're interested in joining the swap and you qualify with all the other rules leave a comment below I will confirm your spot please do not do anything until I confirm your spot so I'm gonna upload this video I'm gonna do some work at work and then I will confirm your spot the group assignments will be up on the website by December 2nd I think that's this Friday um, and uh, this is postmarked by December 31st. You have plenty of time. All right, guys, got to go. Talk to you later. I hope you join. This is going to be fun. All right, bye.